Hey everyone, um, so there is uh, this guy called Hamza Kashgari. He's uh, a journalist from Saudi Arabia and he used to write for a newspaper. He uh, tweeted some things about how he, uh, about the Prophet Muhammad and how he uh, I think in his tweet he said something like I would I won't pray for him and I appreciate certain aspects of his personality but not others um, and he received a very strong backlash for that as a result fled to Malaysia and then Malaysia deported him back to Saudi Arabia where he's now facing trial and blasphemy um, can carry a death penalty uh, so for one thing, it's extremely disappointing to me personally that Malaysia deported him. I used to live in Malaysia for a couple of years, um, and it was a very pleasant experience. And it's known worldwide, I guess, as a moderate Muslim country, so I find it very disappointing that Malaysia chose to extradite him to Saudi Arabia in the first place um, but now that he's been extradited obviously he's still yet to face trial so his um, his sentence hasn't been determined yet but there are clerics and a lot of people calling for his head for blasphemy for him to be murdered uh, in the name of um, Islam um, which is obviously plays right into the worst stereotypes of Islam and does amazing things for Islam's kind of world image. Uh, so, I mean, the thing is, um, telling, telling Saudi Arabia how much Islam sucks, um, or doing extra blasphemous things won't help in this situation uh, as f as it stands right now I looked around I couldn't really find any actual real ongoing campaigns that have gotten off the ground uh, that look too serious um, for helping him I hope something will come about in the future uh, Amnesty does have an article up um, on him but it's I mean I, I don't think they're running a campaign yet uh, also, I, I think it's called PEN, um, it's a journalist organization, has an article up, uh, and I might link to that, and they say that you should contact uh, the Saudi king and the minister of the interior, but unfortunately, apparently, you're supposed to contact them by snail mail, which I'm not sure that that's going to be an effort that's going to gather massive amounts of people to actually... Uh, show that this is an important issue and to convince the Saudi government otherwise so I hope that something a campaign develops um, because these things like campaigns especially by organizations like Amnesty that have a lot of uh, clout and a ver very well established record and a lot of respect those campaigns really do help and then if they do start one the signatures that they get or the letters that people send through them really do have an effect so I hope that that happens um, but for now I guess you know just like be aware of the issue and maybe keep tracking it if anything changes if I find anywhere like one of these campaigns uh, from Amnesty say starting up then I'll let you know um, but yeah, it's, it's very unfortunate and I, I really hope that, that nothing happens to him and he, he gets off with a slap on the wrist because obviously this is just, you know, this is kind of one of the most terrible, um, and vile instances of censorship that imaginable. And I mean, I can only be very thankful for living in a place where I don't have to fear that kind of censorship and I think that that's something that we should all appreciate who live in the West and we should um, try we should always consider that the real victims of the censorship are the people that are living in those places themselves 
so we need to figure out uh, ways to help the people that are being affected um, like this individual.